Thank you for this opportunity to share my knowledge and passion about water. Few pictures from my volunteer work with Care International, an NGO out of Atlanta. As a member of the Minnesota delegation of 15 people, I have attended many of these CARE annual conferences in Washington, D.C. for some six years. It really opened my horizon about poverty issues worldwide. Our planet Earth is a unique planet, probably the only planet with water, and water covers two-thirds of the surface area with molten rock inside. But most of the water is salty water. Only 2.5% of the water is drinkable as the one in the lakes, rivers, and glaciers. Thank God, this 2.5% of the water recycles. The water is in the, in the ocean, evaporates, condenses, and falls as rain. Did you know that every form of water really starts as rain? And did you also know that your body is mostly water, some calcium in the bones? All of us have a critical organ called kidney. The human body can last weeks without food, but only days without water for, or fluids. The kidney needs water to keep purifying the blood. Mahatma Gandhi adopted many non-violent methods to win India's freedom. He would go on fast. No food, but he always took water. Minnesota has winter, winter, and winter, and some spring, summer, and fall. But many places in the world have only two seasons. They're called drought and floods. Water is rare in many places. This picture shows an agricultural well in the state of Gujarat in India. An entire community is taking water from this well. They bring their own long ropes and buckets to get the water from the well. No pumps, no police. Women in rural parts of the world often walk one or two miles to get water. They'll bring whatever they can carry. No more. Two different countries, India and Ethiopia. People line up with colored plastic vessels or 50-gallon jerry cans. Often wait two to three hours in line so they won't miss the water. Chennai is one of the large metropolitan cities in India. Six million people in population. It faced two years of drought in the years 2001 and 2002. I did my schooling in Chennai. The picture shows a tanker bringing drinking water in my house. Yes, I have stood in line for the water. If you open a tap in Chennai at that time, all you got was hot air. In 2002, I heard that my engineering school was shut down during the summer months due to lack of water. I jumped on a flight to Chennai to see the problem in person. I learned for the first time that there is a solution called rainwater harvesting. We did many things, mostly mistakes. Then we decided to take an ordinary existing house and turn it into a live model house. And we called it the Rain Center. It's the first one in India, with some help from the Roti Group in Chennai. Here's a simple graphic of the rainwater harvesting system for a house. Collect all the rainwater, store it on this in a sump, pump it up to a tank on the top floor, and connect it to the plumbing in the house. Two pictures showing how water is collected in the city of Bangalore in India. The water comes from the roof, usually from the gutter, and we use a PVC pipe and a filter and is stored in large drums. We invited Chief Minister of the State of uh, Tamil Nadu to inaugurate the rain center. She did. She liked the idea. And she installed rainwater har harvesting in her own house. And two months later, passed a compulsory ordinance statewide. If you don't do rainwater harvesting, she'll cut off the city supply line and the sewage line with a deadline. Please watch this video that shows the results of this effort taken five years later. It's from 
one of the national television news programs. Well, now for our special series on water when it comes to rainwater harvesting, Tamil Nadu leads by example. In 2003, the state passed an ordinance to install rainwater harvesting structures in all old and new buildings. Now people in the state are reaping rich benefits. The groundwater table in the state has shown a phenomenal rise. Sam Daniel reports. Hariharan's house has turned a lot greener thanks to rainwater harvesting. He has a simple system that collects rainwater from the rooftop and ground surface and lets it collect in a percolation pit. Tamil Nadu government made this mandatory six years ago. Ever since, his well has not gone dry. Even its saline water has turned sweet. Even the worst crisis in Chennai, there was a level of four feet of water. Absolutely no scarcity of water, no worry that every day going and looking into the well what's the level. <laughs> Not these days. 50% of rainwater which would earlier flow into the sea is now being stored underground. In Chennai alone, it's like a whopping 150 square kilometer underground reservoir. Water scarcity is now a thing of past. Rise was something like 6 meters in some places and 8 meters in some other places. In one ground we are able to recharge nearly 16, 16 numbers tanker quantity of water. Rainwater harvesting is now a people's move. In the drought prone Virunagur district, residents have a network of pipelines connected to their rooftops. And the pond that used to be almost dry earlier now looks like this for most parts of the year. When Jai Lalita made this compulsory, many were skeptical. But today, even her critics call this a revolution in water conservation, worth replicating across the country. In Chennai, Sam Daniel, Find It TV. Rainwater harvesting in rural areas is done using large ponds with a large catchment area. In the local language of Tamil, it is called Urani. Yes, that's me with a shovel. We used a JCB machine and three trailers, and the entire digging was completed in a week. The pond is 50 feet wide, approximately, 200 feet long, and 18 feet deep. And we had another pond provided local employment to about 30 villages. We look at this picture, it shows you three different kinds of clay layers a black, a brown, and an almost white one. The white one is partially covered with water. Between these two ponds, we have a total of seven million liters of water, four in one and three in the other. Both ponds filled in just three days and overflowed. Can we do rainwater harvesting in Minnesota? We need to, and we should. We get about 37 inches of annual rain, not counting about 65 inches of snow which is like six inches of water. And it rains in the summer, just when the grass in your lawn needs the water. Can we follow the example set by Austin, Texas? A few years ago, Austin would hold open houses of all the rainwater ha harvesting installed houses over on weekends. I flew from Minneapolis to Austin twice to see them. Th these are 10,000 gallon storage tanks you can connect two, three in series for any amount of storage you want. I attended a rainwater harvesting conference in Seattle, Washington. Similar to our Hennepin County Center in downtown Minneapolis, Seattle has a block-wide King County Center. The green roofs on the top, they collect the rainwater, and the entire sub-basement is full of rainwater, and almost like an indoor lake. Here in the Twin Cities, the White Bear Lake is shrinking. The level has come down by five feet. Bulk of this water is used during the months after purification for mostly watering a lawn, while the rain that falls on the houses flows straight to the Mississippi River. Can White Bear City Lake and other cities follow Austin, Texas example? Los Angeles installed rainwater harvesting a few years ago, but with a twist. 
to control the amount of water that flows from various dwellings to the roads, to control flooding, and they fight for precious drinking water coming from the Sacramento River in the north, which they have to share with the farmers of the San Joaquin Valley. Here, there is a professional group in the U.S. called the American Rainwater Catchment Systems Association. They conduct classes, tours, conferences. You can also look for the April 2010 issue of the National Geographic magazine. It is still available for you on the internet. It has a lot of interesting articles on water. That is our house in New Brighton. We installed a 5 kilowatt solar system and a rain barrel about two years ago. Yes, we also drive a Toyota Prius. Few green ideas that can be implemented in Minnesota. You can see the details slowly on the YouTube. A green housing concept with a south facing solar. Our north side is earth berm because we have snow drifts in Minnesota on the north side and a sub basement to store rainwater. An ancient and still practice design from Kerala, India called the Central Courtyard. Here's a four unit housing design with a central courtyard, but covered on top with glass shielding for Minnesota's weather. Gray water recycling with a BRAC filter unit here in the Twin Cities. All the fresh water that falls on your and my lawn gets polluted with pesticides trapped in the storm drains and reaches the oceans. The next and the last slide is a live demo. It has been my pleasure to share some of these ideas with you about water because our lives depend on it. Thank you.